Well, a tsunami has hit the island nation of Tonga. Take a look at this satellite video. Breaking news. A tsunami advisory is now in effect for the entire U.S. West Coast and Alaska. It, it's a very large explosive part of this eruption. It began with a rumble deep beneath the ocean surface, an event so powerful and unrelenting that it sent seismic ripples across the globe. Near the Challenger Deep, the deepest point of the Mariana Trench, a massive underwater volcano has erupted, and the scale of this eruption is unlike anything scientists have observed in modern history. This remote and mysterious location, long shrouded in the unknown, is now at the center of one of the most extraordinary geological events of our time. The Mariana Trench itself is a geological wonder. Located in the Western Pacific Ocean, it stretches over 1,500 miles in length and plunges to depths of nearly 36,000 feet. The Challenger Deep is its deepest point, a place where pressures are so extreme that they could crush a human instantly without the protection of specialized equipment. It is here, in this almost alien environment, that the Earth has decided to unleash its raw power. For decades, scientists have studied the area for its unique features, Hydrothermal vents, peculiar ecosystems, and unusual geological formations have made it an object of fascination. But nothing could have prepared researchers for the explosive force that has now emerged from this region. The underwater volcano, previously unknown to scientists, has burst into life with an intensity that has shocked even the most seasoned geologists. The eruption began with a series of deep-sea earthquakes, Instruments placed along the Pacific Ocean's floor detected unusual seismic activity, far deeper and more concentrated than usual. At first, scientists believed this was just a routine tectonic event. After all, the Mariana Trench lies at the boundary between two major tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate. These plates are constantly in motion, grinding against each other and creating earthquakes and occasional volcanic activity. But this time, the activity didn't stop. Over the course of several hours, the seismic waves intensified, reaching a magnitude that suggested something much larger was unfolding. Oceanographic monitoring stations picked up rapid changes in water temperature and chemical composition, indicating that magma was on the move. The warning signs were clear. A massive volcanic eruption was imminent. Then it happened. Deep beneath the surface, at a depth of over 20,000 feet, the seabed ruptured. A torrent of molten magma, superheated gases, and ash erupted into the ocean. The force of the explosion sent shockwaves rippling across the Pacific, and the plume of material reached several miles into the water column. The event was so powerful that it registered on seismometers around the world, drawing immediate attention from scientists and emergency management teams. The eruption is unlike anything we've seen before, not just because of its location, but because of its sheer scale and the mysteries it has uncovered. Submarine eruptions are notoriously difficult to study as they occur in remote and inaccessible parts of the ocean. But this eruption, taking place near the Challenger Deep, has offered a rare glimpse into the dynamic processes shaping our planet's interior. As the volcanic plume spread, it created a massive underwater cloud of ash and debris. The intense heat from the eruption caused the surrounding seawater to boil and vaporize, creating a phenomenon known as a submarine volcanic explosion. This process released vast amounts of energy, forming shockwaves that traveled for hundreds of miles. One of the most remarkable aspects of the eruption is the volcanic island that has begun to form. Satellite images and deep sea sonar scans have revealed a new landmass slowly rising from the ocean floor. While still submerged, this proto-island is already altering the seafloor's topography. Over time, it could emerge above the water surface, joining the ranks of volcanic islands that have formed in similar ways, such as Iceland and Hawaii. But this eruption is not just a geological event, it is also an ecological one. The Mariana Trench is home to some of the most extreme and unique ecosystems on Earth. Organisms here have evolved to survive in complete darkness, under immense pressure and with limited resources. The eruption has disrupted these ecosystems in profound ways. 
Hydrothermal vent communities, which rely on chemical energy from the Earth's interior, have been buried under layers of ash and debris. Some species may face extinction, while others may adapt to the changing environment in ways we cannot yet predict. At the same time, the eruption has created new habitats. As the magma cools and solidifies, it forms volcanic rock that can serve as a substrate for marine life. Over time, these rocks may become colonized by corals, sponges, and other organisms, creating new ecosystems in the wake of destruction. This cycle of destruction and renewal is a testament to the resilience of life and the dynamic nature of our planet. But the eruption's impact extends far beyond the immediate area. The release of gases such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and methane into the ocean has triggered changes in water chemistry. These changes could have cascading effects on marine life, particularly in the surrounding regions. Acidification, for example, could harm coral reefs and shell-forming organisms, disrupting the food chain and affecting fisheries that millions of people rely on. The eruption has also raised concerns about tsunamis. While submarine eruptions typically do not generate large waves, the scale of this event and its proximity to steep underwater slopes have heightened fears of potential undersea landslides. If large volumes of material were to shift suddenly, they could displace enough water to create destructive waves. Coastal communities in the Pacific Rim are on high alert, with emergency management agencies closely monitoring the situation. In the weeks following the eruption, a multinational scientific effort has been launched to study the event. Research vessels equipped with advanced technology, such as remotely operated vehicles and autonomous underwater drones, have been dispatched to the area. These tools are providing unprecedented access to the eruption site, allowing scientists to collect samples, map the seafloor, and monitor ongoing activity. The data collected so far has already yielded fascinating insights. For example, the magma from this eruption is unusually rich in rare earth elements, which are critical for modern technologies such as smartphones, electric vehicles, and renewable energy systems. This discovery has sparked interest from the mining industry, which sees potential opportunities in deep sea resource extraction. However, it has also raised ethical and environmental concerns as deep sea mining could have devastating impacts on marine ecosystems. The eruption has also shed light on the deep earth processes that drive volcanic activity. By studying the chemical composition of the magma, scientists can learn about the materials and conditions in the earth's mantle, where the magma originates. This information is crucial for understanding the dynamics of plate tectonics and the role of volcanism in shaping our planet. As the world watches this unfolding event, it serves as a powerful reminder of the Earth's incredible power and complexity. The forces at work beneath the ocean are a stark contrast to the calm surface we see every day. They are a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet, a planet that is still very much alive. The eruption near the Challenger Deep has also reignited debates about humanity's relationship with nature. On one hand, it highlights our vulnerability to natural disasters and the limits of our control. Despite our advanced technology and scientific knowledge, we are still at the mercy of forces far greater than ourselves. On the other hand, it underscores the importance of understanding and respecting these forces. By studying events like this, we can gain valuable insights into the Earth's systems and learn how to coexist with the planet we call home. As the research continues, new discoveries are likely to emerge, each adding another piece to the puzzle. The underwater volcano near the Challenger Deep has opened a new chapter in the story of our planet, a story that is still being written. Whether this chapter will be one of triumph, tragedy, or transformation remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the eruption is a reminder that we are all connected to the Earth's processes and that understanding these processes is essential for our future. In the coming months and years, scientists, governments, and communities will grapple with the implications of this event. They will face difficult questions about how to balance exploration and conservation, how to prepare for and respond to natural disasters, 
and how to live sustainably on a planet that is constantly changing. The answers to these questions will shape not only our understanding of the Earth, but also our relationship with it. For now, the eruption near the Challenger Deep stands as a powerful and awe-inspiring reminder of the mysteries that lie beneath the ocean's surface. It is a call to action for scientists, a source of wonder for the public, and a challenge for humanity as a whole. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The story of this eruption is far from over, and its lessons will resonate for generations to come. The eruption near the Challenger Deep has captivated global attention for its magnitude, implications, and the mysteries it has unearthed. While initial studies have shed some light on the event, the story is far from over. With every passing day, scientists uncover new details that deepen our understanding of this unprecedented geological phenomenon and raise critical questions about our planet's future. To truly grasp the scope and significance of this underwater eruption, it's essential to delve deeper into the science behind it, the unfolding consequences, and the broader context of Earth's tectonic and volcanic activity. This isn't just about one volcanic eruption. It's about the forces that shape our planet, the fragile balance of ecosystems, and humanity's role in studying and responding to these powerful natural events. Let's begin with the geological backdrop that made this event possible. The Challenger Deep lies within the Mariana Trench, which itself is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. This region is a hotbed of tectonic activity, home to 75% of the world's active and dormant volcanoes and 90% of its earthquakes. The Ring of Fire is essentially a horseshoe-shaped belt of tectonic plate boundaries encircling the Pacific Ocean. Here, the plates of Earth's crust constantly collide, pull apart, and slide past one another, creating immense geological stress. The Mariana Trench is unique even within this volatile region. It is the result of subduction, where the Pacific Plate is being forced beneath the smaller Philippine Sea Plate. As the Pacific Plate descends into the mantle, it melts and generates magma, which rises to form volcanic features. Over millions of years, this process has created an extraordinary landscape of underwater peaks, valleys, and volcanic vents, some of which are now being transformed by the ongoing eruption. But what makes this eruption different from others? For one, its location near the Challenger Deep, a place so remote and extreme that it has been visited by only a handful of people, is remarkable. The pressure at this depth is over 1,000 times greater than at sea level, making it one of the most hostile environments on Earth. Yet despite these conditions, this eruption has managed to send material and energy upwards, disrupting not just the local seafloor but potentially the entire Pacific Ocean. The scale of the eruption is also unprecedented. Initial estimates suggest that the volume of magma released rivals that of some of the largest submarine eruptions in recorded history. This has created a massive volcanic edifice on the ocean floor, altering the landscape in ways we are only beginning to understand. Advanced sonar mapping reveals a structure that is rapidly growing, with lava flows spreading outward and piling up to form a new volcanic ridge. If the eruption continues at this rate, it could eventually breach the surface, forming a new island. Such an event would not be unprecedented. The Pacific Ocean is dotted with volcanic islands that began as submarine eruptions. In 1963, the island of Surtsey emerged off the coast of Iceland after an underwater volcano erupted for nearly four years. Similarly, the Hawaiian Islands were formed by volcanic activity over millions of years. If the new volcano near the Challenger Deep follows this pattern, it could provide a rare opportunity to witness the birth of an island. However, the implications of this eruption go far beyond geological curiosity. The release of volcanic gases such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide into the ocean is altering the chemical composition of the water. These changes are having ripple effects on marine life, particularly in the surrounding ecosystems. For example, deep sea hydrothermal vent communities, which are already adapted to extreme conditions, are now facing additional stressors from the eruption. Some species may thrive in the new environment, while others may struggle to survive. 
The impact on the broader marine ecosystem is also significant. The ash and debris from the eruption are spreading across the ocean floor, burying habitats and disrupting food chains. At the same time, the release of nutrients from the volcanic material is fueling algal blooms in the overlying waters. While these blooms can temporarily boost productivity, they can also lead to oxygen depletion and create dead zones where marine life cannot survive. The potential for a tsunami remains a critical concern. Although submarine eruptions typically do not generate tsunamis directly, the possibility of underwater landslides or the collapse of the volcanic structure poses a serious risk. If large volumes of material were to shift suddenly, the displaced water could create waves capable of traveling vast distances. Coastal communities across the Pacific Rim are on high alert, and monitoring systems are being closely watched for any signs of unusual activity. In addition to the immediate risks, the eruption has long-term implications for climate and global systems. The release of gases and particles into the ocean and atmosphere could influence weather patterns, ocean currents, and even the global carbon cycle. Submarine eruptions are a natural part of Earth's processes, but their effects can interact with human activities, such as industrial emissions and overfishing, to create complex challenges. One of the most fascinating aspects of this eruption is the scientific opportunity it presents. Researchers are using advanced technology to study the event in real time, from remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, to autonomous underwater drones. These tools are capturing high-resolution images and video of the eruption site, allowing scientists to analyze the dynamics of the eruption and its effects on the seafloor. The data being collected is invaluable for understanding not just this eruption, but also the broader processes of underwater volcanism. By studying the composition of the magma, scientists can learn about the conditions in Earth's mantle and the role of subduction zones in generating volcanic activity. This knowledge is crucial for understanding the long-term evolution of our planet and its ability to support life. The eruption has also sparked renewed interest in deep sea exploration. The Challenger Deep and the surrounding Mariana Trench remain some of the least explored places on Earth, despite their importance for understanding geology, biology, and climate. The eruption serves as a reminder of the mysteries that lie beneath the ocean's surface and the need for continued investment in oceanographic research. However, this renewed interest comes with ethical and environmental challenges. The discovery of rare earth elements and other valuable materials in the volcanic deposits has attracted attention from the mining industry. Deep sea mining has the potential to provide resources for renewable energy and advanced technologies but it also poses significant risks to marine ecosystems. Balancing the benefits of resource extraction with the need for conservation will be a key challenge in the years ahead. As the world watches this unfolding event, it has also sparked a broader conversation about humanity's relationship with nature. The eruption is a stark reminder of the Earth's power and unpredictability, and it challenges us to think about how we coexist with a planet that is constantly changing. It is a call to action for scientists, policymakers, and the public to work together to understand and protect our world. The eruption near the Challenger Deep is not just a geological event. It is a story of transformation, resilience, and discovery. It is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet and the incredible forces that shape it. As we continue to study this event and its aftermath, we are reminded of the importance of curiosity, collaboration, and stewardship in our quest to understand the Earth and our place within it. This is a moment of awe and inspiration, a reminder that even in the depths of the ocean, far from human eyes, the Earth is alive with activity. The eruption has captured our imagination and challenged us to think about the mysteries that remain. It is a story that is still being written, and its lessons will resonate for generations to come. In the end, the eruption near the Challenger Deep is more than a scientific phenomenon. It is a window into the power and beauty of our planet, a reminder of our connection to the Earth, and a call to action to explore, understand, and protect the world we share. The story of this eruption is far from over, 
and as it continues to unfold, it will shape our understanding of the Earth and our place within it.